periodically you need to re-season your Blackstone grill. Uh, I've had my grill about a year. Uh, used it a fair amount of times, but now it's starting to look like I need to re-season it. So uh, let's get to it and I'll show you how it's done. So here's the grill, and you can see some of these spots here are getting a little clumpy. Uh, this side's not too bad because I don't use it as much. I use mostly this side. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna start cleaning it. This first step gets pretty messy. So what I did was I uh, I took it off of the base. And uh, so, and I put it over here on the table, and I uh, put a little, little Dawn soap, and uh, I'm gonna rinse some of the grease off uh, that's on top. And I have a pummel block, which is a cleaning block that allows me to clean it. Uh, with a little bit of grit to it. I'm gonna try to get down to the metal. The places where it's lumpy, I don't want to take those lumps out. Using rubber gloves, you can sort of feel where the high spots are and make sure you get them off. I got a little steel wool. I can go over the whole thing. Just sort of take some grease spots off or anything I mix and miss with the, um, the block. Pretty, pretty smooth. I'm gonna hit it with a little vinegar. Have a clean major. It's amazing that vinegar is so versatile. So many uses. Cleaning grains. Clean smell out of drains and traps. Uh, cleaning tops such as this. Diluting oil. There's a lot of uses. Alright, we'll rinse. Looks pretty clean. Let's get a paper towel and wipe it down a little. Good to me. So let's move it back in the grill and put some heat on it. So now it's mounted and I'm going to turn all the burners on. And uh, let it heat up and uh, burn off the water. 
and then I'm going to be adding some oil. So now I've got it good and hot. I'm going to hit it with some uh, uh, canola oil. And uh, this is the, I'm going to do this about three or four times. Wipe it, wipe it all in good. Good coating. Wow, that's hot. In every corner. Get up on the sides. Let that cook for about 30 minutes. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll know the next time I put a video up. We're about 15 minutes into the first burn. Uh, I'm at 610 degrees and uh, it's been smoking and it's still burning off. So it needs another 10 minutes or so and then we'll put another layer on. All right, so we're uh, pretty much burned off. Still at 600 degrees. So I'm gonna put another oil on. Now in this round, uh, we should start seeing some color changes. That's smoking good. Let's let that stay for about 20 minutes. All right, so the second coating is pretty much done. Smoking is over. You can see we got a little color change, a lot of black, and uh, I'm gonna do one more coat. This time, instead of using canola oil, I'm gonna use olive oil. The grill still remains at 600 degrees, thereabouts. I'll let that turn off. All right, looks like the smoking's all done. I did four um, passes with uh, two with uh, canola oil and two with olive oil, and. Uh, it's all heated up, the smoke is just about done. It's up to uh, almost 600, 625 degrees. So I'm gonna fire off, let it cool down, and the surface is ready. So that's how you season a Blackstone grill top. Hope you enjoyed this. Please give us a thumbs up, make a comment or ask some questions, and uh, let me know what you, uh, what you think. Have a great day. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you get notified when the next video is posted. Thank you for watching.